Hi everyone, it's Elisa Tilsner. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Today I thought it would be fun to colour one of the images from the Happiness Abounds stamp set, which is brand new from the new annual catalogue. And we're going to colour in this image here. And uh, so I'm going to show you how I've done that. Here's um, what I have done already. I've had a little bit of a play. I am using four colors of ink to get this. So we will jump into it. Um, I will zoom in uh, when we get to the coloring in stage, but I just want to go through a few little things first. So I am actually going to be using my Stamparatus here. They are photopolymer. Whoop, I get the right stamp. They are photopolymer uh, stamps, which means they will um, stain your image here, your stamp, because we need to use stays on because we're going to be watercoloring. So I'm using fluid watercolor paper and I will be using stays on. And the reason I am using my Stamparatus is because you will see this in a second. I think I'm zoomed in a little bit too much. Here we go. So I am just going to ink up, but with my black stays on. Now this gets pretty sticky. So, and the other thing that you will want to do is clean immediately. So this is the reason why I'm doing two is because it hasn't inked up correctly and I want a really nice dark black uh, image as well. So we'll go back on. So that is the bonus of using the Stamparatus. So we can go back in and get that really, really nice bold. Now what I'm going to do is actually clean this straight away. So I've just popped it on a block. And I'm using my Stampin' Mist and my scrub. So going old school instead of using the chamois. And I will be able to at least remove some of that stays on straight away. But you really, really, really need to get into it pretty quick. So it's not perfect, but um, at least it will give you a little bit of... Uh, try and remove a little bit of it anyway. Okie dokie. So now that I've got that done, I can pop this away. Let's move on to our colouring. So the colours that I'm going to be using for this is, I've got a big pile of them here, Blushing Bride, then I'm going to use Polished Pink, then Melon Mambo, and then I've got another colour aside just to show you a little bit of um, what it could look like if you put a bit of red into it. So I'll be using the new Sweet Sorbet. Okay, so let us zoom in. So now using your water painter or your aqua painter, whatever um, pens you like to use. I think I've got the right one that I always use. All right, and we're going to give our Blushing Bride a squeeze so that we've got some ink in the lid. Actually, this is not my brush that I normally use. I'm thinking that's got a bigger brush tip on it. This is the one that's right beside me too. <laughs> so I'm just going to give this a bit more of a squeeze considering I've just used all of that. There we go. Now I can pick up my colours. So I'm just going to grab that colour. And the first one is really quick. And we're just going to just need a little bit more water through there to get it flowing. So you'll see it's quite wet now and then I'm just going to move that color around over the whole lot do take care not to go outside the edges and there we have it first one's always easy wipe off your brush and then we're going to come in with a polished pink okay, I might just give that a little bit more of a squeeze 
Okay, so this is where it starts getting fun and uh, where we want to pop down our colours. So if you are following along with me, I will leave. I don't think I'll speed this up today. I think we will leave this as a colour along. So if you wish to grab your supplies and colour along with me, that way you can pause the video and copy what I'm doing if you like. So I'm just going up probably about three quarters of the way, just lightly wiping off my pen. You can't see that on the screen, but just wipe off my, my painter uh, each time. A little bit of underneath petals here. I'm going to completely color in solid. If you find your brush is getting too wet, then just wipe it off and pop a little bit around here. We've got a very windy day today. I think this, uh, our autumn's supposed to be in, but we've had some really warm days so far, and today is a hot northerly wind, so, but I think we're supposed to be getting cold weather during the week, so, as much as I hate northerly winds, I'll enjoy a little bit more warmth. And just around there, under here. Now I'm not going to come along the ridges, along the tips of these petals here, uh, because as a rose petal fades out towards the edges, it generally gets a little bit lighter. Well, I'm going to say it's getting lighter. And then we'll just come in and add a little bit in the center. I tend to make my centers a little bit darker because unopened flowers um, can be a little bit darker in the in the centers because they haven't unfolded yet. So that one back there is a little bit of a different color because uh, my brush was dry when I put down my blushing bride. Okay, so there's our second lot of colour. Just make sure I'm still in the screen. There's nothing worse than going back and watching it afterwards and finding that you weren't in the screen. Okay, so next I'm coming in with my Melon Mambo and just the same process, but I don't extend out as far. So this one's quite a bit darker. So we want to stay in a little bit closer to the centre of the flower. Underneath here, I will do darker, and that one there. And inside the curve here, will just be dark, and I'll let it fade out. Same with this one, just inside the curve. And then this back bit here is also that same petal, so I'll just do a little bit in there. In the fold. There, this is the back of a petal, so I'll do that darker. Okay, so you can stop there if you wish. I will just stand up and show you. So you can stop at that stage if you like. So you can see that this flower here is really quite bright. And if you want to tone it down just a little bit, I'm going to use some of the new Sweet Sorbet, which is more of a red than a pink but it actually worked really nicely to tone this rose down so i'm just going to be picking up i'm just going to be picking up really small amounts of the color and i'm only going to put like a tiny amount down i just want it to just ever so slightly 
I don't want it to become a red rose. I just want to tone it down so it's more of a, um, a ready pink. So anywhere where I've got the dark melon mumbo, I will just go over a little bit. So try and keep your brush in really point, in a real fine point at the top and just using it really, really lightly. I don't normally do four colors. I normally stick with three, but um, I did want to I only put in the fourth one because I was finding it quite um, a bright flower and I just wanted it a little on the red side. Okay, so of course because it's wet, um, it hasn't settled in, the, the, the flowers, the petals haven't settled in properly ink so this one is still wet this one is completely dry and of course doing it on video I'm not actually sitting over the top of my work like I normally would but you will um, get the idea of where to paint and um, and what colors and what layers to put down when so there are more flowers in this stamp set so if you would like me to do uh, a video featuring all of the flowers um, perhaps just comment whether yes you'd love some more videos on coloring um, and I will get to it at some stage soon so but pretty much they're all like use the same types of techniques for all of the flowers that I do so anyway let me know and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy coloring this is a really nice one to color and we will catch you again soon bye